At the very launch complex where NASA sent astronauts to the moon, new construction. The first launch off of this pad was a Saturn V. Kenneth Poimboff worked on the famous Apollo missions. Roger, we got you. We're going out. This retired space program engineer is nostalgic. He's watching as workers outfit this launch pad for a new generation of rockets and missions. This this place is, is history in the making and, it, and it, it's not over yet. Ignition. And in this new program we call Artemis, named after Apollo's twin sister, we will in fact send the next man and the first woman to the south pole of the moon. There, NASA says its Artemis missions will harvest newly discovered water, fuel for missions to Mars. This time when we go to the moon, it will be sustainable. In other words, we're going to go to the moon to stay. And so everybody would normally be facing that way, T0, the rocket lifts off, and they swing this way to get a view of it. Throughout the Kennedy Space Center, there's anticipation. Robert Seek looks back in time. He's in the firing room. The first Apollo countdowns happened here, but he's really looking ahead. Oh, I said, well, okay, we proved we can go to the moon now. Yeah, well, let's, let, let's find out more about those other planets out there. From the vehicle assembly building, where most moon-bound spacecraft have taken shape. We will continue that legacy and that process as we stack our uh, SLS rocket here, hopefully next year. To the crawlers that carried a generation of spacecraft to the launch pads. Houston, you're a go for landing, over. 50 years after Neil Armstrong dropped down the ladder. Yeah, I'm going to step off the limb now. And uttered those famous words. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. NASA is leaning on the past to take us to the future. Full stress test. From the Artemis mission, to the Space Launch System and Orion spacecraft, and an eventual mission to Mars. We did it. We, humanity, we humans have left the surface of this dinky little planet and gone elsewhere. The Apollo 11 astronaut joining a nation, closely watching as NASA ushers a new chapter of spaceflight. Josh Replogle, The Associated Press, Cape Canaveral, Florida.